gaming headsets. For some just overpriced ear warmers in winter, for others an essential tool in the fight for the most kills. What I want to show you today is probably the holy grail among gaming headsets, at least considering the unholy price. But more on that in a moment. The Audis LCD GX, a headset from a high-end audio manufacturer that wants to get into the gaming game. What makes this headphone special is its transducer system. It's not just a regular loudspeaker as in every other headphone. No, it's a planar magnetic system. Planar magnetic. Mm -hmm. It's a 103mm large driver unit, which is roughly speaking a thin film with a conductive trace applied to it. This is then placed near a neodymium magnet array. If an oscillating signal, i.e. a sound signal, is now sent through the conductor trace, a magnetic field is created on the membrane. And this magnetic field is either attracted or repelled by the fixed magnet array, causing the membrane to oscillate. The evenly distributed conductive trace on the membrane, also called Uniforce by Audis, creates an ultra homogeneous homo homogeneous creates an ultra homogeneous sound image with hardly any distortion. Due to its extremely low mass and sheer size, the diaphragm can reproduce frequencies between 10 Hz and 50,000 Hz. This is like switching from a Golf GTI, which isn't that bad already, to a Formula 1 car. And the price of the headset is about the same in comparison. A good gaming headset costs between 100 and 200 bucks. For the Audis LZD GX, the inclined audio maniac quickly pulls out a whopping 898 bucks out of the piggy bank. Over here in Germany, this thing costs almost 1100 bucks. You're some lucky guys living in the US. You can listen for it yourself in this video and experience a comparison to a normal, really good gaming headset. In addition, I will put the thing through its paces and find out whether you should really spend almost 1k for a headphone for gaming. The Audis LCD GX is currently available at Amazon for $898. I'll link the thing in the video description for all of you who cannot believe this. But let's get down to business. What do you get for almost 900 bucks? The LCD GX comes in a James Bond villain worthy case, big enough to pass as lunchbox for the Hulk. Super sturdy in case the Hulk accidentally sits on it and with a really cool latching mechanism that even can be locked with a real key. Inside there's plenty of yummy foam to keep everything in place. There is a standard LCD cable for pure music enjoyment, which has a 6.3mm jack, so it can't be easily plugged into a PC. Additionally, there is the GX cable with the integrated gooseneck microphone, which has a TRRS plug, i.e. a combined connection, for headphone and microphone. This allows the thing to be connected to most common laptops, cell phones, tablets and so on. If you have a computer or a sound card with an individual connector for headphones and for microphone, there is an adapter that converts the TRRS plug into two TRS plugs. In addition, a certificate of authenticity is included on which some guy has scribbled something. I don't know. Thanks for that. And the majestic looking headphone with the black magnesium housing and the red protective grille naturally finds a place in Hulk's lunchbox too. Also a so-called OMTP to CTIA adapter is included. Man, what is that now again? Glad you asked. It's a little plug that swaps the microphone contact and the ground contact of the TRRS plug. Sometimes headphones with a combo plug, meaning the TRRS plug, with the four contacts on it, don't work properly when plugged into a headphones only jack. The OMTP to CTIA adapter now swaps these contacts so that the ground contact is back in the right place and the headset works as intended. Well, I think it's time to take a very close look at the Royal American masterpiece of gaming acoustics. When you put your sticky chocolate paws on the headphones for the first time, you immediately notice that what you're fingering here is a completely different class than anything normal. The 450 gram heavy headset feels like a precision tool in your hand. All moving parts move silently and without any resistance. No play in the joints, no rattling or even unworthy materials. The absolute massively oversized housings are made of magnesium 
and stand out with the red grille behind the vents. The headband is unpadded, but wide enough that the, for gaming headset, relatively high weight is distributed quite imperceptibly. The whole thing sits very comfortably on the skull. The ear pads are made of memory foam and adapt exceptionally well to the thinking spear, no matter how misshaped that thing is. Due to the impeccable mobility of the housings, the LCD GX adjusts perfectly to the shape of the head fully automatically. Size adjustment is also on a much higher level than anything else I know. The rods that connect the ear cups to the headband are made of solid metal, probably steel from the sound of it. The sound of the size adjuster alone promises quality. Take a listen. The thing sits really exquisitely comfortable on the thought factory on your neck. And even though we're dealing with open headphones here, they are closed in their own way. The Uniforce diaphragm is the only barrier between the ears and the outside world. That means acoustically these are open cans, but the space between the ear and the diaphragm is still closed. This is noticeable when you put the headphones on. There is a pressure tight area. When you press the headphones against your ears you can also hear the air escaping, which is probably due to a vent. Sounds from the outside penetrate completely unhindered through the ultra-thin membrane to the ear. And likewise, music or game sound penetrates clearly audible to the outside. However, because the whole thing is somehow closed, these headphones are very warm, quite comparable to normal closed headphones. Thus, they are only conditionally suitable for long sessions and possibly high room temperatures. The weight also plays a role here, which can be quite noticeable for petite neck muscles. I'm used to heavier headphones, however, and actually like the slightly higher weight very much. It simply feels extra valuable and sits nicely and stable on the head. Jerky movements will cause the thing to rock around the head though. However, the clamping force is very pleasant and your skull will not feel crushed. In addition, the LCD GX is suitable for wearing glasses, since the large soft pads and the pleasant clamping force do not press the things on the sides of your glasses against your head. I also like the cables quite a bit, especially the standard braided LCD cable. The word looks different with the GX cable though, although it's not the cable that spoils the mood here, rather the microphone, but more on that in a moment. There is a dedicated switch in the cable to mute the microphone, but the little box can't do anything else. On top of that, the box is in a somewhat awkward place, at least for me, because when I have the headphones on and I'm sitting at the table, the box is always right at the edge of the table. I don't know, either I am sitting wrong or my upper body is too short or something else. I have no idea. The cables can be connected to the earphones with plugs, similar to classic Mini XLRs. Don't ask me what this plug is called, it's a Mini XLR, but only with more contacts. I'm sure it has its own name, just google it. I think we just slide in the sound comparison at this point. Comparator today is the Austrian Audio PG16, the only gaming headset I know with a really good microphone and very good sound quality also. Let's go.
the headphones simply can't hide their roots in the hi-fi sector. Listening to music, voices in an audiobook, soundtracks while editing videos, everything is super pleasant and neutral. The sound image is extremely clean, distortion-free and powerful and offers a great spatiality. The transient reproduction is dreamlike and listening to it is simply unbelievable fun, as long as you like neutral, clean sound. The headphones never become intrusive or distracting. You can wear them all day if you got permission from your neck muscles. The microphone is more designed for gaming. It emphasizes the most important frequency ranges of speech so that you are well understood by others. The gooseneck is also very good as it holds the microphone exactly where you put it. It also comes with a foam mushroom thingy thing which should prevent plosives and protect the microphone from sudden showers of rain from the gamer's face. My pronunciation is too dry to test the latter wordly, but my plosives are absolutely worthy opponents for the pop filter. You might hear it, thanks to the plosives I sometimes sound like I'm using an average headset f at best. For comparison here is a recording with a 160 euro headset from Austrian Audio. And this is the Austrian Audio one, as you hear plosives are absolutely no problem because the microphone is a little bit farther away from my mo from my mouth. but. Plosives are also no problem when I'm way nearer to it. And the sound quality from this microphone is, in my opinion, also more pleasant than the one from the Audis. Now, is this the right thing for gaming? And unfortunately, I have to say no. Uh, yes. No. Mm. Yo. Mm. Connected to a normal computer or a normal interface, the headphone sounds quite nice. Considering the price, however, this would only put a very mild meh on my lips. To exploit the full potential, you need a little bit more. Not in terms of volume, don't get me wrong here, uh, but definitely in terms of sound. To experience the full force of explosions and extremely deep bass in music, I recommend a headphone amp like the iFi Zen Deck 2. This little duck has what I will call a, mm, a more oomph button, uh, which gives it more room in the basement of the low octaves. In addition, the soundstage benefits extremely from the iFi's controlled mid-range and treble. The difference is unreal and absolutely worth the 200 coins for the Zendak 2. But it's not just in games that the LCD GX finally makes sense with it. Music also suddenly opens up and transforms to completely different dimensions. Instruments and sounds are suddenly even more vivid and clearly positioned in space. They are reproduced in such detail that you immediately understand why these headphones cost so much money. The sound seems so lively and real that you actually don't want to put that thing down again. So we have an audiophile headphone with a much too sensitive microphone that definitely needs help to unfold its absolutely fantastic soundscapes. That all at a price for which an old gamer has to knit many YouTube videos to be able to afford it. In this headset, the manufacturer tries to combine different worlds, namely the high-end hi-fi fans and the gamers. They were successful indeed, but you have to keep in mind that you still have to get one or two extra credits from your inventory 
laboratory to fully utilize its potential. However, if you invest that extra money, you will be rewarded with sound dimensions that are unparalleled, at least in my experience so far. I will now take this thing, lay down at the couch, connect it to my duck and enjoy the sound a little bit longer before I have to pack it up into Hulk's lunchbox and send it on its way to the next reviewer. I hope you could take something away from the video. If so, I'm happy about comments and thumbs. And a subscription is rewarded with regular new videos. So get on it, there are not many left. The subscriptions will soon cost a fortune. Quickly subscribe until they are free, before it's too late. That's for this video. I'm out, stay loud. Peace.